Hey guys, this is Inferno Bird here. Going to show you how to root your brand new Samsung Galaxy S3 for the US carriers only, not the i9300. And this one particularly is the Sprint version, the SPH L710. Anyway, here we go! Okay, first thing you want to do is go into your phone, go to menu, settings. Scroll all the way down to about device and make sure that this is not the i9300 version under your model number. And once you do that, we're good to go. On to the computer. Okay, the second thing you want to do is to make sure that you have all your all your um, drivers installed and whatnot. So let's go online, make sure we got all our drivers. And um, basically you can get the drivers from Samsung Samsung's website itself. So we're just gonna go to Samsung. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm right back. Alright, so you want to go into Samsung's website. Samsung.com and then go to support right here. Go to downloads, manuals, drivers, firmware, and software. I will probably include a direct link in my description, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, you go to cell phones. And mobile and uh, cell phone, sprint phones, and then mine is the. Make sure you pick your proper mo proper model number, which is uh, what I showed you before. Um, mine is the SPH L710 by Sprint. I do believe? Okay. So the difference between these two is one is white and one is blue. I got the white one. So, and then we go to manuals and downloads, click. Go to see all downloads. Okay, and then we go right here to software. And then we and then you can download the driver right there. And then all you got to do is download it and install it onto your computer and plug in your phone and it should work. It should work just fine. So, with that being said, let's go to the other source where you're going to download your zip files from. Alright, and the link in the description will lead you to here where you download the file. Whenever you download it, it'll be in a zip file. It'll be called um, Galaxy S3 ATT slash rooting slash Galaxy S3 root US Canada dot zip. That ain't a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, um, whenever you save it to your computer, it'll end up looking a lot like one of these guys. Uh, let's see. Um, it'll look like this right here, and then you unzip it. I recommend to your desktop because it's the easiest way to do it. And then you open it up, open up the unzipped folder, and then go ahead and plug in. Okay, sorry about that. Um. And then the next thing you want to do, you want to connect your USB uh, to your computer, to your phone. Like, uh oh, don't want to do that. Don't want to break it. Okay. And then unlock it. And then you want to take that, scroll it down, open this. Make sure that the media device MTP is checked on. All right. Once you do that, you're back. You set your phone down. 
and we go back to our computer and make sure that the superuser.zip file that was in the unzipped folder that you unzipped onto your desktop make sure you put this file onto the root of the SD card so I need to open up another window and navigate to my SD card which is in the it'll probably be listed as SPH L710 or whatever your model number is on your phone double click card and there it is I put it on there so all you gotta do is click drag and drop alright so now it's on the root of my SD card I'm good to go next thing I want to do is take my phone unplug it unlock it and then power it off power off okay and after that's done I want to hold the volume down home button and power all at the same time so I can get into a menu that looks like this and it says uh, warning a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications we already know all this but we're continuing anyway so you press volume up to continue and you're in the Odin mode alright and then what you want to do now is come back to your USB plug it back in and then go to the folder that we downloaded once more open it up and run this little guy called Odin 3 V 1.85 EXE double click that hit yes and you should come up with something in here it should be com something as long as something's in here it's reading it and you're you're okay um, the thing you do want to do is uncheck the auto reboot go to your PDA button and then navigate to the same folder that has the zip the that you unzipped onto your desktop the Galaxy S3 root US Canada open it up and then there you'll find recovery Galaxy S3 US Canada dot TAR you want to select that and make sure that goes in there goes in that little slot and then once all that's done you hit start it takes about oh six seconds or so and you're pretty much um, rooted <laughs> bada bing bada boom it's that simple um, all you have to do now is to unplug your phone like so um, and then you wanna don't turn it off don't restart it don't do anything until you take out your battery so we're gonna take out our battery I don't like this back okay there we go so with that on I'm taking out my battery boom alright All right. put it back in put it back back on okay so once you do that you want to press the volume up power and home button all at the same time and once it lights up you let go of the power button but keep holding the home and the volume up button until you get into clockwork mod recovery alright and then once you're in there all you gotta do is go to install zip from SD card which is you select it with uh, the power button and go and move your highlighter up and down with the volume keys or, or the volume buttons on the side so choose zip from SD card you select that with the power button again and then there's your super user zip file and you select that go down to yes install super user zip this is what gives you root permission and stuff on your phone then you go back and then reboot system now 
And then whenever your phone reboots, you should have Super User installed on your phone and rooted and good to go. And I'll just show you just so you guys can see it. And give it a minute. Okay. Touch whiz. Is it a touch whiz? Thank you. <laughs> and you go into your applications. And you should now have um, Super SU installed, which is your Super User app. Now you can download an application that requires root access to verify that you do have root. And see, it says, Congratulations, this device has root access. So, woo! -hoo. And there you go. And now your Galaxy S3 is rooted and ready for ROMs. Um, if you choose to put them on there and ready for custom kernels and all kinds of other stuff. Anyway, um, if you like this video, please don't forget to comment and rate and subscribe. Um, subscribe up here. Uh, give me a thumbs up down there. And I appreciate it, guys. Take it easy.